and it's going to be mostly built around bicycles all over the world because bicycles are powerful. It was beautiful riding in with you today into Washington and just feeling all the power of people riding in a group. A cultural shift that we're seeing in communities across America. Something new and exciting and different and the bicycle and walking is at the center of it. They're a part of the solution the world over. Transportation policy that will, will, give, will give us very different outcomes. I'm Ken Bryan. I'm the Florida Director for Rails the Trails Conservancy and just got done with the Climate Ride 2011. We rode our bikes from Manhattan all the way down to Washington, D.C. A total distance of about 305 miles. I'm Steph Rio. I'm Sarah Lee. Uh, we're both from Philadelphia and we just finished the Climate Ride. It was pretty wild. There were lots of hills. <laughs> it was challenging but it was rewarding. Because of this ride I was introduced to Rails to Trails. Um, and found out I have been using rails to trails <laughs> most of my life. To be able to ride and come here and push our bodies physically, um, raise money for a great organization, and um, it's exciting. Just learning about everything has been really, really impactful. All the people that were just here doing their own thing, either working or sightseeing, ran out to the road, cheered us on, took our pictures. It was a really fun experience seeing people react to that many people on a bicycle. It was awesome, the support that we got and the friends that we made. And just to see that there's this huge group of people that really does care enough about the environment. I think this is all part of her learning, something that they're probably not going to touch on in her school, that um, we need to be active and we need to have our voice heard, and if this is the way you want to do it, it can be a lot of fun. People in communities across America, they're tired of living in places where they don't have any choice but to drive. They're concerned about the obesity epidemic. The bicycle is one of the very few things that both rich people and poor people use that makes as much sense in the global south as in the global north. They're concerned about the impact of their travel on, on the climate. You guys <laughs> felt real power the last five days. You felt it in your quads and in your glutes and in your calves and you also felt it, I imagine, in your hearts because there is something really powerful, not just about riding 300 miles, which is good, but about riding 300 miles together, which is really, really something.